What's up, my inside out Gore Abyss Snatchers? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Last episode, Joe surprisingly played competently enough to not let anybody die. And today, the greatest Nuz Locker in the world, AKA myself, intend on doing the same. What's up, boys? I'm good, Donnie. Just home from shucking a boatload of corn on the farm. How are you, Joe? I told you to stop sucking a boatload of cum barack. That stuff is nasty. Plus, I'm sure the other farmers will rapidly start to get jealous of your slurpy skills. Besides that life advice, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Had a nice healthy breakfast today consisting of ass cheese, buttery toes dipped in milk, and a slab of Marmite. My energy levels are through the roof today, as you can tell. Whoa, easy there on the shouting, Joe, and may I say that breakfast sounds disgusting. Marmite, what the hell is wrong with head chef Paul? How dare he serve that to a man of your stature? I'll whoopity scoopity his ass next time I see him. No Kanye needed. No, you just killed the baby T in this dick. How could you, Donald? I loved him with all my heart. Joe loving baby penis dick? Is that what I just heard? I can't even act surprised anymore. How are you never locked up for this shit, Joe? Why do you think I wanted to become president so badly? Yeah, I was running to be America's greatest leader, but also running away from the popo in 56 of the current United States. Literally, my first day in the office was spent hiring secret spies and agents to catch the bodies of the cops who had any leads on me. Then I cleared all criminal convictions from my name, and here I am today. Yes, here you are today, admitting to all of those crimes on YouTube's biggest gaming channel, whilst continuing to say stuff like, I want bomb head from a dusk noir. Gonna nickname him Sloppenheimer. Baby PP, Dicky Bo, watch out. Spare his teeny weeny ass Donnie, I beg. Which part of dusk noir would even give that sloppy toppy? The top head or the stomach head? Ask Grovile from Mystery Dungeon. Him and dusk noir were hate fucking every second dungeon. A part of me loved it and another part of me creamed over it. Hey, yo, what did he just say? Look, it's Reggie Cock. Which one of us has the best Reggie impersonation? Who wants to go first? All right, let me go first. I've got this. What the flittle fuck was that? If there was a Reggie Payne or Five Nights at Reggie's, then that was a perfect impersonation, Joe. But Flamigo Balls, that was not even close, son. All right, that was a gosh darn joke, Reggie Bomba. Let me try again. Reg, 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 Reggie Ice. There you have it, folks. There's your comment question of the day. Who has the best ragey cry out of the three of us? Also, don't forget to leave your impersonation down below. Make sure to include as many funky symbols as possible. That's a great comment question because now that means we have less time to pad out for this video and the viewers get like four or five minutes of extra smack talk from the three of us. Isn't that sweet? Wait, don't you have a giveaway or something to talk about, Barack? I thought I saw that in the script for this episode. I fucking knew this shit was scripted. There's no way you hobos would intentionally be so trubbish at this game. Oh, shit. So my amazing viewers, on behalf of all three of us and our editor, Game Producer 6, we have decided to do a giveaway for you guys to pay you all back for the amazing support and love you've given the series. As we said in a previous video, we want to give back to the awesome community by doing a few giveaways, so this episode will mark the first one. There's a few steps that need to be followed, which Donald will explain, since for some sick fucking reason, he's your favorite character on this show. Joe, what's up for grabs this time around? Well, viewers, you're all in for a treat. This giveaway will feature Donald's secret cum sock signed by his mother. Yo, what the fuck? Boys, that is too far. You fucking snitched on me to my mama, and she agreed to sign that shit? Man, fuck y'all. Ha ha ha, just kidding. Though some of our thirsty viewers are probably disappointed now. Anyways, no joke, we will be giving away five $20 gift cards. That's $100 worth of prizes in total. There's three $20 eShop vouchers available for our Nintendo gamers, and two $20 Steam vouchers for our PC Master Race out there. Maybe in future we can include PlayStation, but just know that it is definitely fuck Microsoft on these streets. If you own an Xbox in 2023, you need to get your life in check, you bum. You said it, Joe Jonas. You ancient American dragon. Microsoft fell off after the 360, and that's a goddamn fact. Anyways, as I said, somehow Donald Dick Inhaler is our two-time viewer champion, which freaking disgusts me. Viewers, how could you betray Joe and I? Young Goose here is the fucking pinnacle of corrupt nationalism and genitalia warping. 
And for some reason, you all... Reggie, 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 Ice. Well, I guess I am the only human alive now. Joe has now joined the dark side. Ivy sore shit. Wait, does that make me Darth Vader? A white-skinned fellow wearing all black? Obama, I am your daddy. You fucking massacred that quote like a masquerade. Donald, please explain the rules before I pull out the twin iron hands on this sucker. All right, all right. Here's how to enter the giveaway. Step one, subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. It's free. I won't even charge you all for it this time around. Step two is to like this video. Again, it's free for now. Step three is to share this video around on whatever platform you would like, as long as you send a screenshot proving it. Whether it's Instagram, Twitter, or X, Discord, or even PowerPoint, I really don't care, but you need to share the video and DM Game Producer 6 a screenshot of the proof, as well as your YouTube name. His Twitter and Discord is down below and is the main way you can contact him. Finally, step four is to leave a comment down below. You can answer our comment question or say whatever you want, as you amazing people always do. But as long as you leave a comment, you should be good to go. TLDR, like, comment, and share the video. Then DM the proof. Winner will be messaged back, as well as a shorts video will be published to show who won on the Wheel of Fortune. What would you guys do with the vouchers? Probably wipe my ass with them, since I'm literally the president. Just to clarify, because Donald is a belly bolt fuck, there will be five winners for this giveaway. So realistically, your chances of winning any of these vouchers is pretty high. Next time we do a giveaway, you will have to be a member of the Discord. So make sure to join that now if you want to keep up with the episode previews and be included in future giveaways. Well spoken, boys. Now time for a gym battle. Time to rock this bitch around the Christmas tree. Shut up about Christmas. You going to start using beat up on your Santa Conda right now, Joe? Oh, fuck. Where's Donald's come sock for a second? <laughs> we forgot to point out for the audience, but this gym is rock type in case you couldn't tell. All I have to say, Donald, is that you know where the giga drain button is. So clicker that thing until the cookies come rolling in, you grandma clicker. I know you're my clicker, right, Barack? I thought you boys were ziggers. Did something happen? Can I just clarify? I am not anyone's clicker or zigger. Shut the fur alligator fuck up. That shit was never funny and never will be. Joe, you reshi ram cracker looking ass, if you call me a zigger one more time, I will permanently zig a fucking bullet through your skull. And Donald, you zangu zigger, why the dippity shit are you using dragon dance with snack? That doesn't boost your giga drain and you ain't one hitting this soul rock. I'm doing it for the quickness barack to make sure our snacky snack moves first. I'm going to need more speed than Joe at the weekend with that fresh Colombian snow. Speed? Yeah, I love I show speed. He's my clicker for real. Did anyone see his schlong last week, by the way? That shit was insane. How could anyone miss it, Joe? It was all over X and Facebook. Even my mother saw it, though she commented on it saying his dick has gotten smaller. I don't know what she means by that, but ha ha ha. Let's forget about that, shall we? Shit, it's on Facebook. I meant, did you see it on the hub? I had to claw through like 300 pages of BBC to find that thing, but it was well worth it. You're lucky, Barack. At least at every family get-together, you get to see his magnificent sausage with perhaps a bit of simisir sauce. No homo. Focus on the fight, Boizel. One unsuspecting ground move and Snack will shrivel up and disintegrate in an instant. Oh, God, it's the eight frenzied dick monster. I told you we are better off as friends. You're a nightmare. Oh, so he used to hide under your beds and tickle you at night, too? Ah, sweet, sweet childhood. Prediction of the fucking century. Now Donald is getting his snake tickled by the pickle dickle monster. Joe, you really are the MVP holy wiener schnitzel. Where would we be without you? Probably getting whipped on your farm, Barack. So thank goodness for my graciousness. What do you mean, Joe? That's my 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. shift every Wednesday. 11 hours of straight whipping. I'm going to evolve into an all creamy one of these days. I swear to fuck. And when that destined day arrives, I'll cream you. Ha ha, get it all creamy, I'll cream you. Anyway, enough about my spongy soap. This gym ain't shit. You can tell Flannery is a noob. If she had a Swampert or a Don fan, I might have been worried slightly. But right now, I'm just thinking about how I'm going to fall asleep tonight, knowing Cray Dickey will be watching my every move. Oh yeah, Swampert, my favorite fucking rock type. Just because you want a mud kip to roll out over your gyro balls doesn't mean you have to say it out loud, you and bread, idiot. Hold the mother freaking row, Tom phoned for a second. I just got a ducking huge wave of nostalgia. 
Does anyone remember the Bloody Biscuits Lil Leap only run a Pokemon Emerald? The series itself only has like 2K views max, but holy shit, that guy was definitely one of the forefathers of Pokemon challenges and Nuzlocks. He is obviously more well known for his Kingdom Hearts speed runs and challenges, but he also would play through Pokemon games without using healing items and under leveling his team. Jesus Christ, I know I'm old, but fucking bite me, that was an ass blast from the past. Sorry folks, the ads are over. We are back to your regularly scheduled shit show. Donald the Shield Don Shagger has decided to choke the battle once again. Who leaves a Torkoal in versus Kabutops while the rain is out? I guess I gotta make this last spliff count. What is bro smoking? Snoop is big chilling like a villain. Hyperfang is a powerful move, and realistically Sky Attack is too risky to use in a Nuzlocke. Go ahead and teach our little Chihuahua that, Donnie. As long as you don't make tricycle hyper fang your right ass cheek, then of course, Sleepy Joe. Caterpie cock. Never mind then. Delete that move, you edging electric bastard. Hey, Donald, where did your car go? Huh? Lol, lol, lol. Oh, fuck. I didn't want to talk about that today, but I guess you heard Obama. Well, after I ran over those seven Chinese kids, I had to roll my favorite McLaren into the Earth's magma core to dispose of the evidence. Of course, the genocide of their entire family was then carried out, but I'm a little sad about my whippity whip getting burnt to a crisp. We lost a real one this morning, boys. Whipping it. Oh, God. Balls. Wait, slow the nippity fuck down. That all happened this morning. What the conk? Donald, when were you going to tell us all this? Preferably never Barack, but hey, it's not like anything can be done about it now. Flanny still has Joe as her second name. I thought I told her after our divorce she had to drop that shit. Damn it, Flanny, you immature, hot-headed linchpin. Her name is Flannery. Why do you keep calling her Flanny? It stands for Flat Fanny. Screw you, Flanny, you Flanny fiddler. Oh, uh, who am I kidding? I still love you, baby. I'd give you the hydro pump any day, the new TM50. The reeds! Donnie, did you see that? Did you see the reeds? Donald! Yes, Barack Oscara, I did. I'm gonna hang on to Hydro Pump, but it's great to see day one and Snack can learn such a powerful move at least. Again, Snack defying the fact that he is a physical sweeper part, always. But let's just see what type of moves he learns on level up. Good call, Donnie. Another win under our belt and we are officially halfway through the adventure. I guess you can nab the fossil in the desert, fight a couple more trainers and then end off the video there. Next episode, I will face my father in our toughest Pokemon battle yet. Obviously, my in-game father, not my real-life one, still waiting on that milk. I would love to milk May's Magmortars while she takes a fossilized shit on my ancient power chest. Wait, don't let her get away. Head after her and ask her, would she be down for that Donald, would you? Make yourself useful for once. I will absolutely not be doing that. You're going to horny jail right after this episode, Joe. No, don't send me back there. Should I go back through previous routes and fight some more trainers before the upcoming gym battle, Barack? Otherwise, this episode will be shorter than usual. And I don't want to start the gym before your turn rolls around. Hmm. My only issue with that proposal, Donald, is that the previous trainers will be such a low level now in comparison. Power creep is hitting the hoe in region pretty hard right now. I actually think you should go ahead and battle a couple of the gym trainers in Petalburg City. Why not? It's not like I would have had issues with them anyway. You can go up the left side of the gym and pick off a few of those trainers, and I'll start the next episode tearing up the right side. It would be more effective for our team levels and money that way. How does that sound? Sounds like a plan, Obama man. I'll be sure to revive this fossil before heading over to our poppy's gym. I love the fact that the one time the player character actually has a father figure in a Pokemon game, you have to whoop his ass to continue the story. That's more ironic than an Iron Leaves. Nice to see that awful Marmite breakfast isn't affecting your bars today, Joey. Chef Paul better get his shit together before I tangle his ass like a Tangella. Wait, you guys have got it all wrong. This breakfast wasn't made by Paul. I fired his ass last week like a Charmeleon. What? Why did you fire his smexy ass? Well, you see, um, remember the last time you were going on about having Tauros cunt served with a side of Paul's balls? Funny enough, that was exactly what I had for dinner that night. I figured they just cut open his sack and marinated his testicles in some spicy barbecue sauce and served it to me. I was sadly mistaken. Turns out the chicken legs and chicken breasts that accompanied that dinner were actually just Paul legs and Paul breasts. So I went to his funeral the next day, respectfully walked up to his coffin, 
opened it up and whispered, You're fired, buddy. I then yeeted the coffin down the church steps and ran like it was Pokemon Dash. How many people have died since we started this series? I'm genuinely concerned. Speaking of dying, look, it's your wife. Remember when you threw for content and choked in that May 2 fight, Donald? Ha 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 Good times. Oh, wait, no, they weren't. You Musharna muncher. You literally left it in versus a psychic type and expected it to live. I still get a little depressed every night, Donald. Never forget. I'm actually grieving here over Chef Paul Barack. Have a bit of fucking respect, will you? I'm so sad to hear that he passed Joe. Who is the new chef of the White House? Well, Barack's brother, Andre Rush, is back temporarily. He actually updated the formula on the pills I take for this series. His zinc shots hit different, let me tell you. His back shots also hit different. That's actually how I got that famous scar inside my asshole. What? Joe just said that was your brother, Barack. I mean, send a snap of the scar or I don't believe you. Hey, yo, I noticed neither of you fungus fuckers said no homo after those statements. Joey McBlowy is suddenly concerned. I see you picked up my favorite TM rest, Donald. I officially give you permission to nickname a Pokemon after me and teach it rest. No, Joe, don't fall for it. <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me, Joe. You want to make a binding vow over it? Oh, what the hell? Sure, buddy. Great success. I will be sure to save this crucial vow for just the right moment. You will regret having agreed to this, you old hag. Found your glasses, Barack. Thanks, Mr. McBlowy, but please break that vow right now before it's too late. Sukuna has been trying to entice me into a binding vow for weeks now. It's something got to do with this playthrough, but I'm not foolish enough to agree to anything that fool says. Call off the agreement, Joe, I beg. Huh? What did I agree to just now? I can't seem to remember. Gosh darn it. Man, I sure do love abusing those with memory loss. Yippee! That's one point for Gigantamax D. Don't worry, Joe. I've got your side on this. I won't let Minimize D follow through with his dastardly plans. That's very sweet of you, my homie know me that I've known since the dawn of time. The fact you would die for me means a lot. I never said that! Just a quick question, though. Who is Joe? Seriously, why do you strangers keep calling me that? Wow! This actually isn't a stunt this time. He's straight up forgotten who we are. I feel bad for you, Obama. Well, this episode has been nothing but a load of cloth shit. Impidimp dick. There's no redeeming it this time. Yes, sir. The Donald episode redemption arc has begun. Let's freaking go. Come to Daddy D. Kippers. I don't know what this Cho chomper is celebrating about. Another fucking water type. Like, for fuck's sake. Let's grab Snack by the Behind and five other water types. Call it a rain team. Can't wait for this muddy rubber blubber to evolve into another whisk cash or horsey. The only acceptable evolution at this point is toilet bird. Gang, gang, we eating it up, bitches. I have to agree, Joe. We are in the fucking slums when it comes to type variety right now. Water and normal are what we specialize in. And at this rate, it's looking like a liability more than anything. What has more water, the entire Earth or the president's Pokemon box? Well, the Earth has Africa, so I think we win automatically. Not to mention that the other stars of our team aren't even good against water. Day one has Thunderbolt and high special defense. Yes, but if we come up against a Kai Ogre with like 200 special attack and bubble, we might as well get anally horn drilled for a millennia straight. Snoop gets smoked against waters and not in the way he likes it either dog would get turned to literal dog water too. Osama is pretty much our only option, so let's hope we don't get a water type gym. Well regardless, this gym is actually pretty free except for the leader. Most of the trainers here will waste one turn setting up using an X item, so if we actually got water here, day one would sweep with T-Bolt. No diff! You can also evolve Kipper with just one level up, Donald, so we might get a great monster at the end of the day. Let's not lose hope you eradicate Bilt Chub. Well, at least I don't let sludge bombs drip out of my asshole like yourself, you pea-sized shrewdel sucker. Let me see what horrible typing this gym is. It is definitely water type, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yep, uh-huh. Fuck. Fuck. Well, look on the bright side. Our strategy of sweeping with day one should work on most of the trainers. To be honest, Daddy Norman might have some unevolved Pokemon that won't be able to dish out a lot of damage even if they happen to have stabbed super effective moves. I want to say, this is in the bag, but knowing you knob gobblers, you'll end up losing someone one way or another. Oh, I would literally kill to have you call me daddy like that, Barack. Do it. Do it and make me feel complete again. 
Maybe in an alternate timeline, Joe, where we end up playing through Fire Red or some shit. But never demand either of us to call you daddy again. I'll make like a cartana and slice your ass up in a second with this metal. Barack, did you forget, you flailing, failing homosexual, that you are the one playing next episode? If someone dies, it's a direct result of you fucking up, not us. So much for being the 49 Nuzlocke and Cumshot champ. Oh, you want to fucking go, Donnie boy? You want to start pointing fingers and using blame thrower, you embor chunk? I'll scoop your body up like a vanillish Afton style, baby. Start stuffing you into a mimic you suit and spring some traps on your ass. Ouch. Did Donald's attack get cut in half because that was a fucking burn? Will of the mother freaking wisp type of burn, baby burn. Disco inferno dancing ass. Respects to you, Jojo. Not only are you possibly my prodigy and goat when it comes to Pokemon gameplay, you're the sickest and slickest hype man. Oh, barack son. Does this mean we are besties now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you jump the fucking gun, you gibble gooch sniffer. Come back in 2,000 years to see if you're worthy, peasant. Really? You two are arguing while Kipper is evolving? Have a bit of funking respect. You want respect? Here's your bitch-ass respect, Donald. Oh, look. Kipper evolved into fucking Donald micropenis Trump Ketchum. Oh, wait, no, that can't be because he's too skinny to be Donald. Even if it was a whaler, he would look like a dot in comparison to your humongous or Venus sore penis vor looking ass. <laughs> are you mad, Barack, because I declined your bestie requestee? I'm sorry, it's just I value my besties to such a high degree that it's only a limited circle of friends. You have to really prove yourself to get into this cool Klux club. Donald is in that fucking circle. He is more circle than the figurative circle itself. Chill, Obama. Oh, my Lord. I won't chill. You chill! Uh, good work today, Donald. I'll catch you around, bestie. I can still hear Barack's screams echo through the night. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to enter the giveaway following the steps down below. Keep up to date with the Discord. And thanks for all your love and support during Game Producers Break Week. It means the world to him. Until the next episode, have a good one.